Yes, it's Wednesday, Work Wednesday, and we are excited about this topic today, and that's the decision to act. So I welcome you to today's broadcast of In the Tank Live with Aaron Harrison and Keith Dale. And while we're waiting for our viewers to join us and Aaron to jump on the line here, I just want to talk a little bit about a decision to act that I had recently, and it was it was a moment where... It, it wasn't necessarily as much a physical action as it was a mental action and to it reminding myself that I needed to stick to what was working and it's using the law of attraction and for me it revolved around the seasonal nature of some of the work that I do and remembering that if I, if I stress and worry over something that is not showing up yet, like we spoke yesterday about the money, the same thing is true about a lot of the things in our life. And we have to trust that if we, as long as we, we continue to be the person we need to be so that we can do what we need to do and we'll be prepared for when the opportunity shows up, those things will all come into place. And so I was wavering a little bit because it was cutting it close on certain, uh, the amount of clients that normally do request our services towards uh, the winter season and towards the end of the year. And recently... I had to remind myself to just focus on being the best, focus on getting your brand out there, staying consistent, and they, the, the people will show up. The people that, that you are meant to serve will show up, and now they're starting to show up. And it was only, you know, I think it was just a gap or, or a moment in time where I didn't have that space filled, so I started getting in my head and, remember, and, and was forgetting that those thoughts are not my thoughts. I don't own those thoughts. Those are the thoughts that are out there. Everyone has those thoughts. And I was giving too much ownership to those thoughts and not enough ownership to remembering what I've done in the past and how I've consistently been successful and been able to show up to serve on a high level. So that those are some of the things that we've been working on. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? Just doing a live broadcast. Sorry. No worries. Why don't you poke your head in? Say hi to the audience. <laughs> the man himself. I guess. Popping in. Uh, you want to the throw? These guys should be done in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to just go down in the corner or on the track. Yeah, man, you're yeah. good to go. I just got to do a few things in here. Uh, yeah, what? Well, we have some minutes here. I got to do uh, tubing stuff. You have tubing? I have to do tubing, yeah. Yeah, I have it over here. Look at that. Blue in the house. Awesome. Get awesome. you going. And I'll jump back on the broadcast. Jump back on the live. Right? Let's see what it is. Yeah, time to throw and run and all that fun jazz. Yeah, man, gotta get out of the game. Yeah, I know. I'll stop down there. So this is Wednesday throwing preparation tubing. Yeah, this should be on there. Oh, they're done. depression. Oh, I don't know what that is. And then tubing. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna jump back on the slide real quick. Thank you. All right, man, I'll stop down there. Good seeing you. All right, we're back. Uh, so we were, we were talking about the decision to act. And so, you know, while we're waiting for, for Aaron to come to the broadcast here, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more on it. But if there was something that, that you've had recently on your mind or there was, a, there was a certain task or an ability that you wanted to explore and get better at, then go ahead and, and drop a comment in. And that's something that we can discuss today on Live in the Tank. You know, otherwise, there's, it's not always something, like I said, that's physical. It's not always the, you know, you don't always have to get out there and feel like you have to have all this time to do it. And the, the decision to act isn't always something that, you know, would take up a lot of your physical energy. But, you know, more from a mental standpoint, even if you're, you're helping a friend or listening to somebody and working them through a problem, that decision to act could be actively listening. And a lot of us have so much, th so much on our mind that we forget that that's a huge part of connection and relationship building. And remembering that mm -hmm. that vulnerability that you're showing and that you're sharing is only going to build more trust. And, and if you have that trust, a lot more can happen because then the, other, then the other person that you're building that relationship with, they will be a little bit more vulnerable and you'll be able to, to continue to build on that relationship. And you know, ultimately, from the relationships that we have, and our decisions to act, whether it's actively listening or you're, you're looking to, to create a physical action, then we'll be able to network. And we got to remember that that networking is going to allow you to leverage your ability, your experience, and the people that you know so that when you have something that you need to get accomplished or you're looking to help somebody out, 
you'll have that connection for them and you'll be the go-to source. And you really are um, a hub at that point. So as long as you have the networks and, and you decide to act and you're consistent, people are going to know that. And then that's going to be something that's going to increase your value your, in your environment. And that's really what, remember what we said yesterday, that we all, we all are psychologically and emotionally and physically unemployable. So it's that value in your environment that's going to get you to the next level. It's that value that's going to keep, you, keep people coming back and allowing you to serve, which is what we were all here to do. And so we'll bring Aaron on the call. And this is something that, that he's been very consistent at. And that's why people are seeking him out, not only for us, but also for, you know, to help them and, and partner with him and continuing a successful life. Aaron, what's going on, man? Where you been? Oh, my goodness right. gracious. What an amazing <laughs> I, I'm I'm late for a reason, trust me. But man, I, I I'm just so thankful for for everything, brother. What's going on, man? Hey, well, we had a little surprise visit earlier in the broadcast by uh by uh, Matt Barnes. He just stopped by. He's gonna he's he's the nice. pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. He poked his head in here, and then I was helping him get some fans. So I had a, I was chilling. So we didn't we don't have too much content flowing, but. You know, other other than my hair, my hair is back to that flow state, man. I love it on that work Wednesday. You know what? Talk about you know what? I was watching that movie Trolls and I fell asleep. And this is how I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then jumped out the freaking tree and got your head up. But y'all yeah, listen, man. Y'all listen. You know, today, man, I, man, listen. <laughs> Woo! All right, so so here's what's going on today, guys. It, 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 it really is. It, it really is about taking action. Right. And when we look at our life, I realized I realized that I wasn't able to show up the way that I was used to showing up. Right. I'm a winner. Right. I'm a winner. And I've always believed that even when I'm losing, I'm winning. Right. Because I'm realizing what losing really means. Right. Losing means that something was bigger and better than you at the time that you showed up had nothing to do with. Any, well, it, it, well, no, it does have something to do with your activities and it has a lot to do with your effort. However, when that's at 100% and you just get straight out beat, that means that you need to upgrade your 100%. And that doesn't mean give 110. It just means to take a look at what you did for 100% and make that 100% better, right? So, so, so really taking action. And, and something that has been resonating on my mind for about a week now is when someone is starving, Right? When someone is starving and they haven't eaten in days, what would that person do for food? That person would do anything, anything and everything that they had to do to eat. Because when your stomach is grumbling and you're feeling like crap and you need to eat, you will find some food and you will do whatever it takes to find some food. You have to have that hunger for success in your life. You have to have that. When someone tells a starving person no, you think they're going to stop looking for food? Heck no. They're going to say, listen, I got to find somebody that has some food. They're like, I, I, I ain't got because I, I can't spend not time with you because you don't have the food, right? And so the same thing goes in life. The challenges, the obstacles, all the, all the distractions that come along the way, right, is no different than scenery on a highway, Okay, are caught up in traffic. You will make it through it. You will get to your destination. However, how you go through the traffic, how you sit there and process the time that you have is all that matters. So you have to be hungry. You have to be starving. You have to be in your position every single morning to say, you know what? You know what? I need to eat. I need to eat. And if I don't go out there and take action right now, I know I'm not eating. And so here's the thing. The reason why I wake up every single morning to go to the gym, I get up at 5 a.m., I get my personal development, and I get my scripture in. At 5.30, I'm in the gym eating weights. I'm eating weights till about 6.30, quarter to 7. And then I do my video. I get at home. I wake everybody up, and I'm fired up. I look my two boys in their eyes. I hit my e-shot, and I say, today's for you. <laughs> I look at my wife and I say, today's for you. Because you guys are going to eat off of what I produce. And that's from now to the day I die and then some. And so what I'm creating right now is the possibility that you need to be more hungry in the things that you want to achieve if you want to eat. And that's all it is, right? So look past the distractions with the goggles that I don't have time right now to deal with the distractions. All I am is focused on eating. Eating and eating and eating and eating. And if you know how to eat like I know how to eat, right, you're never going to have enough. You're never going to have enough. 
But I'm fired up today because, honestly, I just sat here and I had an amazing conversation last night. I had an amazing conversation this morning. I had an amazing conversation about two seconds ago. And this is really what's charged me up, is that these individuals that I'm talking to are hungry. They hungry. They Les Brown hungry. And the thing is, is that nothing's going to stop them from being being satisfied. Nothing's going to stop them, right? They are on a mission, and they're going to continue to eat because they're focused on the activities that they're going to have to do to make that food happen. And so where are you hungry in your life? Or are you just sitting around being fat? Right? Being fat, meaning that you think that you're just going to sit around and it's going to come to you, that someone's going to serve you a plate, someone's going to give you that Thanksgiving dinner. No, you got to start cooking. You got to start preparing it, man. You got to start creating it right now. Get fired up. Take action. All right, on your goals. Be hungry. Be wanting it, man. Because there's, there's, there's no reason, there's no magic that's here. Okay? And I look at my journey and I've had my chances over the last 15 minutes. All right, and really share my testimony, share what I where I came from. And one thing that I realized is that the light bulb went off when I realized that I was responsible for me. That's when the light bulb went off. And I realized that it wasn't gonna differ if I can make excuses or if I can look at somebody and tell them it's their fault. At the end of the day, I'm gonna have to own up to every everything that I do each and every day. And either I, I performed or I didn't perform. One or the other. And someone asked me, well, how did you get there? I said, by failing a lot. Mm -hmm. By failing a whole lot. But you know what? Failure didn't stop the hunger pains. Failure didn't stop the hunger pains. I was still hungry. I'm still hungry. Right? And it doesn't stop. Right? It doesn't get easier. It just gets clear of why you want to eat and who's responsible for you eating and who's depending on you eating so they can eat. That's the key. Okay? So get in action, guys. You know, take action. Don't stop, man. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm showing up today for this person, that person, this situation, this thing, that thing, right? And at the end of every single day, say, all right, how am I measured up today? How did I measure up today? Let me weigh in. Let me see what my performance has created, all right? And what I'm going to go on for it tomorrow. So that's where I'm fired up right now, Keith. I'm, I'm, I'm lit, dude. And it's been one of those mornings, man, that's just been unbelievable. I love it, Aaron. We talked about it. It's it's not going to go away. This is the fourth quarter. This is no, the postseason, man. man. We're out. We're searching for rings, right? We're on that hunt for rings and that baby. championship no. journey. You know that's so important. I love that you're fired up, man. I don't know what I I'm, I'm almost speechless and and we're and thinking about how I can follow that up. But now, I mean, with all that information, with all that with all that emotion and that fire, right? The decision to act is what got you there. If you didn't decide to act yeah. today, if you didn't decide to act six years ago and you, you became comfortably numb and you were just satisfied and you were content, you wouldn't be where you are today. You wouldn't have the fuel to even talk this way. You'd be exhausted by now, just mentally, physically exhausted. And so yeah, in, in deciding to act, there, the lot goes into it. And, it. and the most important thing is not just acting against resistance and, and, being, and having this meaningless wanderer uh, you know, persona about you. It's having to remember that we got to chunk it down, man. We got to look at something where, all right, what can I act on? If everything feels overwhelming, how can I act on one step at a time? And by creating that one positive step in, in that action, now I'm creating progress. And if I create progress, then I can get feedback. The feedback I'm going to get is that I'm happy now, right? If I can create happiness, I'm going to keep moving towards that. Whether you're in pain or not, you can still create progress and be happy through that and make the pain worth it. So all of that decision to act can also be compounded when you start to surround yourself with others that are acting. And Aaron, it, you know, we're, we're creating this, um, we're getting to the point where we're at a, a threshold. And we're at the point where if you want to remember movies, I mean, for you and I, the movies that we've watched mostly right now are the kids' movies, right? That's that's the season of our life. That's the chapter that we're in. Baby and so you think on heavy repeat. Right. And so Boss Baby on heavy repeat. Exactly. <laughs> you know, as for an example, the best the best thing I can think about, the best analogy I can think of, so we can we can get out there to those visual learners like like myself and you, is think about that movie uh, Finding Nemo. Right. And we talked about mm -hmm. this. You're hitting that, that critical moment where and finding Nemo, if when, when at the end, when they were joyous and they finally got back together with each other and they found each other. And then all of a sudden they get uh, Dory gets knocked out and scooped up in that that fishnet at the end. 
And, you know, Nemo knows the, the importance of, of compound effort and everyone deciding to act in the same direction and, and the amount of momentum you can create and the impact you can create in a situation. And so what, he, what Nemo ended up doing was convincing his father that they had to get in that fishnet, convince all the fish to swim down in the net at the same time instead of panicking and running We're around panicking. like crazy, which is a lot of what our world is. It's people panicking, anxiety, right. stress. And then they just get hyper focused right. on themselves and, and they're not yeah. they're not focused on everyone moving in a common direction so they can make consistent change and permanent change. So you create an impact. And what they did was all those fish finally swimming down convinced everybody to get to the bottom and break the net. And when they broke the net, everybody could go back to doing what they were doing and living their life. And so there's there has to be a time when you look up. There has to be a time when you look others in the eye and you say, let's go. You know, let's go do this. And this is the fourth quarter. Yeah. If we're going to create impact, yeah. and this the mo one of the most stressful times of the year when people suffer in silence, there's a reason why this is for a lot of people. They don't look forward to the holidays, but it doesn't have to be that way. We have we have found a way that you can fuel yourself, that you can be ready for the fourth quarter, come out on top, and really have better coping mechanisms with stress. Because if you come out of the fourth quarter on top instead of dragging ass. Your 2018, I mean, it's going to be one of the best years of your life. Because the fourth and the first, it's going to be you time. Those it's going to be when you out. collect your rings, man. It's going to be trophy time. It's going to be trophy time. And we know what that's like. And so one of the things that I had said last night on our leadership call was really where, where this journey has taken me. Because many people say, that's easy for you, Aaron. You're a motivational speaker. That's you easy for you, Aaron, because you got 20 abs. And that's easy for you because <laughs> you look like the rocker. That's easy for you because you're so, you know, interacting and you're so da 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 da, -da. And, and you know what? No. That's not, no, no, no. That's not easy for me. Right? This, e this, this guy gets up at 5 in the morning and goes to, goes to bed at 1 o'clock every single day. Every single day. I am working on being the best version of me. And you know what that means? That means going out there and not being afraid to fail, okay? And so don't allow failure, okay, to be the reason why you don't or you give up on finding what it is that you need to make happen, right? And so for Keith and I, and for many of us on our team, all right, we've created a culture. We've created a culture that people don't have to be part of everything, but they do need to be part of who they are, right? And they need to know where they want to go. Those are two requirements, okay? The third requirement, the third requirement is contribution. Do you care about helping others? Because helping others is where you can fail more, okay? And by failing more, you can grow more, right? By, 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 by creating more resistance in your life. And so when you're out there helping people, I've been able to collect so many stories that the limiting beliefs that I used to have have no more time in my brain because I know what's possible, right? And so just your story alone is not going to be enough. You need to be out there listening to people, finding out what people are struggling with, and working together with them. The fourth thing that we've created is problem solving, right? So we've created a culture of people that are willing to problem solve, that are willing to do it as one unit. Okay, and so we're out here. We're listening to people's stories. We're growing. All right, you may be at your desk right now dealing with a problem. Somebody may be knocking on the door right now wanting to talk about a problem. And so embrace that problem. Sit down with that problem. Say, okay, let's go. Let's let's fix this problem. Okay. And so we're problem solvers. And so we're looking for other problem solvers. People that love getting into obstacles and and, and, and obstacle races. A lot of you guys out there, right? And so. <laughs> The, 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 third, the, the, the final thing, the fifth thing that I wanted to point on is the vision, okay, and where we're going, all right, and you're dealing with winners right now, you're dealing with people that even when they lose, they win, and that's up here, and that's in here, right, because it, the, the more I lose, the more I win, the more I fail, right, the better I become, and so now we love uncertainty, Right. And we can cast a vision for people that may be at a broken part of their life. They may be struggling, man, in here, in their belief. They may not even be able to look themselves in the mirror. And you may know who that person is. Right. I invite you. I invite you to link up with us because we're looking for you. We're looking for you if you believe it's possible for someone that's broken to become whole again. If that's you, 
right? That we want you. We want you and we want to know your creativity. We want your imagination. We want your problem solving skills, your culture, your standards, your beliefs. All right. So that we can grow even more because we can't impact the world the way we want to impact it by individualism alone. We have to grow as individuals, but we need to be a team. And so that's what we've created over the last six, six years. I've been so clear about what it is that I'm looking for and why it is that I'm looking for that I can't sleep at night. And that's why I'm up so late. Right. Because on the other side of the world, they're already getting ready to go to bed. That means when I'm up in the morning, they've already crushed half their day. So there's always someone that we can reach out and help, all right? And you don't have to, you know, change your career or anything, right? You just have to change your mindset and you're willing to live for others. Because if, you, if you're about that, then you know what? We need to have a conversation, all right? Because that's what it's about is joining and linking arms and creating this movement, all right, that's going to be endless and it's going to be long-living because it's allowing people to go from a broken state, no matter where they are in their world, right, to a whole thing and understand that they're worth it. And that's what we're about, Keith. I got to fly, man. I got to head out to my 1230. But I wanted to share some visions with you guys, man, because I'm so fired up. This year has been incredible. But wait till 2018. Wait till the people that show up in our lives and show up on our team next year and the impact that we can make next year. Let's do this, man. Let's shit. Let's, let's change tens of thousands of people. Next year, man. Let's I love it, man. I mean, that's a wrap. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not messing with that. Aaron said it. Tony said it. Let's go, I want to thank everybody for showing up. You know, there's more and more people showing up to these these broadcasts. It's awesome. And I want to thank everybody for showing up and commenting. It means a lot. The comments stay live. So for the hundreds of thousands of people that are going to view this worldwide, remember the comments stay live. We will get back to you. And if you like what you heard, share the message and share the word. Let's we'll go. see you tomorrow, same Let's time, go. 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Live in the Tank with Aaron and Keith Dale.